This is Jeremy from Adega Vino Winery. Just want to say hello and uh, put together a quick video for you guys, just uh, telling you a little bit about uh, us and the shipment you guys are going to receive, which we're super, uh, super stoked about. Uh, so my name is Jeremy. I'm the sommelier and brand ambassador here at Adega Vino, and we are in our the north block of our vineyard. I thought it'd be kind of a cool place uh, to kind of showcase who we are, and uh, it feels nice outside. It's fall finally, so. Um, you guys are going to get a shipment of some really cool wines, including a rosé that was grown actually uh, in this block of fruit. Uh, so a little bit about us, uh, Andy and Elena Bilger, along with Andy's brother Michael, are our founders, and Michael is the winemaker. And the idea was uh, Texas family, 100% Texas grown grapes, sort of tipping our hats to Portugal. Uh, Andy and Elena had taken a trip to Portugal uh, well before we opened and were really inspired by the culture, the people, the wines. And the idea was to kind of showcase our take on, on some of those grapes. Um, so uh, the property was purchased in 2016, uh, planted the first vines in 2017, planted a second block of vines, which we're standing in now. Uh, this block was planted in 2019, and we just planted some Chardonnay this year. So we have a, a baby block that just got planted. So uh, the estate consists of 14 and a half acres of grapevines and 12 and a half producing at the moment. And uh, we're a small producer, uh, boutique operation, mom and pop, family owned. And uh, the idea is boutique wine, premium wines. And um, that's kind of the gist of who we are. Uh, the Portuguese reference with the Dega Vino, it means wine cellar or wine house in Portugal. So the whole idea was to make premium Texas wines, uh, sort of tipping our hats to Portugal. Uh, five of the 10 varieties uh, planted on the estate are Portuguese. We have Arento, Alvarinho for the whites, and Tariga Nacional, Tintacal, and Susau on the reds. Uh, we also have Tempranillo, Morved, Sangiovese, uh, a little bit of Cabernet Franc, and now Chardonnay planted. So uh, it's a pretty good spectrum of grapes that we really uh, enjoy working with here in the Hill Country. And the Chardonnay is sort of a, a rebellious planting which is uh, not the simplest grape to grow in Texas, but it can be uh, beautiful on the right vintage and, and on the right vineyard site. And we feel that we have a soil composition appropriate for that. Um, so we're, we're planted on a, a hill country site, which is uh, a hard pan. So sort of this loose caliche limestone soil over a little bit of sand and some, some clay, depending on where you're at in the vineyard. And um, yeah, that's kind of the gist of that. So as far as the wines you're getting, uh, you guys are going to get a bottle. Uh, they're all award winners, and, and we actually selected wines that all won an award in the same competition, which is the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. Um, super proud of that. Uh, we, we really enjoy winning awards in Texas, but California has a different mindset when it comes to the judging. It's, it's judges that don't have a Texas palate, and when you can blindly have a Hill Country wine go, or High Plains wine, go to, to SFO and, uh, and score well, that's always really, really cool. So. Uh, you guys are going to get a bottle of the 2021 uh, Estate Morved Rosé. Uh, we are a rosé house. I can't say that strongly enough. Uh, I don't know if we open with the anticipation of being known for rosé, but that is our thing. Uh, we make a ton of rosé every year. Uh, the one you guys will get was one of, th I think, three or four we, we made in 2021. It was a rainy vintage. It really wasn't the best vintage we've seen on the site, but it was good for rosé because we were going to pick early anyway. Uh, so we picked Morved from this block of fruit out here. Uh, these are 2019 plantings, and the fruit was stunning. In my opinion, it was probably the crown jewel of the vineyard uh, that year. And uh, it won a lot of awards in San Francisco. Uh, it was our first international publication. Uh, the, there was a writer for Forbes that lives in New York that uh, listed that wine in her top, I think, 30 international rosés. So uh, I, I firmly believe at this moment that that is still probably the best rosé we've made to date. It's a bit of a bias statement, but uh, we want to pick out a wine we thought you guys would really enjoy. So you guys are going to get a bottle of that. Uh, there's also a bottle of our non-vintage Portisol. Uh, it's actually a 2017 and 2018 collaboration of Morvet and Tempranillo. And Portisol is our signature blend. It's the house wine. It's sort of our, 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 um, our, one of our biggest production wines every year for a small batch producer and probably our most known wine. It's a great blend and the idea was uh, a bottle of wine you can enjoy on the back porch watching the sun go down. And that's where it got its name. Portisol means sunset in Portuguese and uh, it came from two vineyards out of the High Plains, and it's just a really balanced wine, nice tannins, nice structure. Uh, and again, I, I feel like it's probably one of the best Portisols we made, and we started making that wine back in 2017. 
Uh, so really cool wine for you guys to enjoy. And if you like that, you can come visit us anytime. And, and Portisol is a regular occurrence in our wine program. And it's usually that blend. Uh, finally, we have a double gold winner in San Francisco, which is the Par Tariga. Uh, Tariga Nacional is uh, one of our favorite grapes to work with here. And it's really kind of the inspiration for the name of Dega Vino. Uh, we have some planted on our vineyard, but this was grown over at Par Vineyards in Mason, Texas. And uh, Rob Parr and his wife grow beautiful fruit. They have a, a winery with their own label out there in Mason as well. And um, it won a double gold in San Francisco recently. It's actually not technically released. So you guys are actually getting a sort of a pre-release example of this wine. Uh, I'll be honest, we feel it's a bit young yet, which is why we haven't officially released it. But with some decanting or a little bit of bottle time, it's beautiful. Or if you guys choose to have it with a meal, it's, it's well apt to be paired with, uh, with a, a fatty dish like a steak or some prime rib or maybe a heavy pasta with some cream sauce. It's a beautiful, beautiful wine. So uh, yeah, so that's the lineup. Hope that kind of goes over who we are. Uh, family owned and operated, 100% Texas grown grapes. Uh, we have an expansive estate here in the Hill Country in Stonewall, Texas. And uh, we wanted to select three, not just three award winners for you guys to enjoy, but three really fantastic wines that we were super excited about. The Rosé, the Tariga, and the Port of Sol. Uh, so hope you enjoy them. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us here and we can happy to answer questions as far as, uh, um, you know, the wines and, uh, and uh, you know, any, anything like that. So uh, hope you enjoy. Cheers. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon at the estate.